the show is wild. Hey guys, it's me, Takani, and today we are going to be watching and reacting to Pimp My Ride. It was released back in 2004 and basically follows Xzibit, X-Z-I-B-I-T, um, his name is pronounced Exhibit. It follows the host Exhibit <laughs> as he pimps people's rides. One uh, episode I did watch was, it was a nurse. And they put a cat scan in the back of her van. Like a full on, the thing you slide into and it goes, woo, you know. Um, I don't know if they know that those are magnetic. So I don't know how it would affect the outside of the car. <laughs> Today we are going to be watching season one, episode one. It's called Wyatt's Daihatsu Hijet. So it's X to the Z I tit. That's how he's pronounced it. X to the Z I tit. I have no idea who this guy is, but I'm assuming he's like a famous rapper or something, or like a famous car dealer, car, car detailer or something. I don't know. I hope he tells us. Hi, I'm Wyatt. So we meet Wyatt, who's driving a minivan. I mean, who's driving a micro van. Needs some detailing, maybe some more detailing. <laughs> <laughs> right now, because of my van, I can't get a job, and I'm just flat broke. I am curious, why can't he get a job because of the van? Like, they don't think he'd be reliable? Is he trying to be- well, this is 2004, so it's before Uber days, <laughs> so, like, why couldn't he just drive to work in that? I mean, it looks like it drove fine, but maybe it doesn't. I don't know. He had house door hinges holding on the back of his trunk door. Duct tape's a given, right? Because, like, it's a beat-up vehicle there's gonna be duct tape and then he's just using a sheet metal instead of a door for the back i love that they drew kind of like a little window even though there's no window there the high jet's a rolling joke i first saw it it's like a toaster rolling on donuts a toaster rolling on donuts why are these people so critical of his vehicle who cares <laughs> you're not the one having to drive it you don't have to ride with them it's weird to me that they're like oh you know i thought it was a joke who buys a vehicle for a joke i don't think so chill out Okay, you don't need to insult this poor man's vehicle. He doesn't even have a radio. All right, he has to listen to the road the rawr, as he drives. He probably doesn't even have like heat or air conditioning because it looks like he doesn't have windows. It's a rocker. I need something to rock out with. I wonder if this vehicle theme is just gonna be like rock star theme. Like, are they gonna put a hot tub in the back? But he he just needs like if the car just needs a little TLC. Maybe a speaker, maybe some air conditioning, definitely some windows, <laughs> and definitely a paint job. But let's see what X to the T's it, X to the T's it, X to the T's it. What is his name? What is your name, sir? Okay, that didn't help. What is your name? X Z a bit, X Z a bit. Okay, exhibit. Exhibit it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> That's a little easier to remember. Alright, so yeah, we'll see what we'll see what Mr. Exhibit does. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Exhibit you never had duct tape on a car before? That happens, you know? Sometimes people have to put duct tape on the car. You don't need to laugh at poor Wyatt. Wyatt's struggling enough. And now he's just trying to tip over the car? What if he did tip it over? What if he pushed it just a little too hard and it tipped over? What will Wyatt do? He won't have a car. Just buy him a new car. We come to 50 ride, brother man. Are you serious? <laughs> 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 I just wanted to be included, okay? Yeah. Exhibit, why did you just throw that out the window? What if you needed that? What if that was like important? What if that was like the cover to the center console? I don't know, that could have been anything. Who knows what that was? And I swear to gosh, if this man eats the chips out of this bag, who knows how long that chip bag has been in here. I didn't see any chips come out, so thank God for that. Disgusting. Manhattan Beach ain't never seen no wheels like this, daddy -o. Exhibit is way too excited to be driving this vehicle. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I like that after Wyatt says he trusts Exhibit and he knows his car's in good hands, 
Exhibit's just freaking swerving on the road. All right, guys. Exhibit's driving the microvan to West Coast Customs. Let's see what they're going to do to it. I think it more looks like a golf cart. Has this man ever seen a golf cart before? I will tell you that microvan does not look like a golf cart. Maybe like a little kid car, but not a golf cart. Out of all the things you could have said. And also, he's never seen a microvan before. And also, also... How many people are looking at this freaking van? They're like surrounding it. They're already like in there pulling stuff out, doing the dang thing. Like it's crazy. They have like a huge crew. So he says in his shop, he does everything, changing the wheels, painting, custom interior. I didn't hear nothing about fixing no engines. I'm hoping that that's just kind of a given and that's why he didn't mention it. I feel like actually repairing the car so it's drivable is probably more important than, uh, than painting it purple. And having a custom interior but what do i know that's not my van it's why it's van he probably does want <laughs> his engine and stuff fixed right he probably does before he says what he's gonna do they said that wyatt likes playing the guitar and he likes music and stuff like that i'm just really hoping they don't just turn that this vehicle into just a, like a studio you know like they don't just buy a ton of guitars and just Fill up the walls with just a bunch of guitars. <laughs> when I'm on a forward facing camera, it's gonna be shown on the back TV. Okay. That camera's gonna allow the people to sit in the back seat. See what's going on. Okay. When he was talking about the camera in the back seat, I thought he meant like it would see the back of the vehicle. What he meant was in the wraparound couch that's gonna be in the back, by the way, made of suede, except for carpet on the floor and the flame exterior, because you know, flames, they're in all the time, right? The, the back seat people will be able to see see the screen to look to see where the car's going. That is the most useless point of a camera I've ever heard. Because they could just, I don't know, look over a guy's shoulder, right? Like, what? <laughs> I hope I misunderstood, but that's, that's, what, that's, that's what I think they said. <laughs> that battery right there runs the motor and the car itself. And this battery runs all the accessories that we've added to it. That seems kind of inefficient, right? No. One battery to just run all the electronics in the back seat and one for the car. I don't know. I'd rather just have two batteries for the car, I feel like. It would really suck if the back seat, like all the lights and the camera and the TV and stuff are working, but you can't start your car. I guess it would be easy to jump start between the two via two batteries, right? No? Is that TV working? You actually see the picture on that TV? <laughs> Can you see me? <laughs> hey, you gotta try to the left a little bit. It really is a camera so the back seat can see out of the front of the car. That it really is that, huh? They couldn't just look through the window? We've taken a four hundred dollar bucket and put almost twenty thousand dollars into it. They freaking what? A four hundred dollar vehicle and they just put twenty thousand dollars into it? I hope some of that money was for the engine otherwise this is just gonna be something sitting in someone's yard forever what could have possibly cost twenty thousand dollars though was it the three tvs was it the three tvs was it the seatbelt sign the authentic seatbelt sign <laughs> what did they put in this <laughs> got your nice fridge okay i'm sorry but that mini fridge could only fit two apples and two waters in it what is the point of a mini fridge in a micro van that can only fit freaking two apples and some waters. Was that a part of the $20,000? Because that was a waste of money. You can't even, you might as well just carry on a lunchbox, you know? At least it'll stay cold and you can bring it inside and use it places. A mini fridge with two apples and a couple of waters. It's not even big enough for like anything else. I would be so mad if I was hanging out with somebody and they just opened their mini fridge and it could only fit two apples in it. They're like, can I put my water in there? Aw, oh, no. It's too small. The backseat seat is barely big enough for him to sit in it. Why would they have wraparound seating? Why did they have, why do they have two screens back there? Okay, it can only fit one dude. Okay, unless it's like kids, I guess, which I hope it's... I... <laughs> It can only fit one Wyatt back there. He doesn't need three screens. Wyatt does not need three screens, okay? <laughs> what the heck, bro -ski. And Wyatt is too excited about this. Which, I mean, I guess they probably said, hey, you know, play it up for the cameras. And he was like, bet, because you guys are going to fix my car. So I really hope they fix, you know, the important stuff. 
<laughs> is Wyatt a fly in a human disguise? Because he's doing a whole lot of this. The only things I see doing that are flies and evil people. And I don't think Wyatt's evil. So he's probably just a fly, right? In a human costume. Also, he hasn't really been saying much for a host, you know. I guess the other guys did all the stuff, so he probably doesn't know what happened to it. I feel like the host should say more stuff, right? This is a DVD changer. You can watch six DVDs at the same time. Who's watching six DVDs at the same time? Does he mean, like, you don't have to change it and then it'll just go? Or it literally, he could play all six DVDs on the screen? He has three screens. I guess he could play three movies at once. I don't know. Seems kind of overstimulating. But this is coming from the person who will play a video game while watching a TV show with a little bit of Sims free play up on my phone in the corner. So, um, yeah, I guess three, three screens is normal, right? <laughs> Why did they have to blur out the screen? I know that they were showing um, Exhibit's music video earlier, I think. What was on the screen that made it need to be blurred out? All throughout the vehicle, we have your airplane sign for your high jets. They put other airplane signs in there. And also, they put the wing thing on the back of the van. I don't know if you guys saw that earlier. It's like the thing that they put on the back of sports cars. So I don't know how that relates to plane stuff. But the interior is planes, apparently. I thought the dude liked guitar and stuff. Where I, where was the guitar theme? So far, it's just flames, suede, and freaking carpet. Okay? Where's... Where's the guitar stuff? Come on, that's the one thing you knew about this kid, is he liked the guitar. We put a camera up front, so you can see what's going on up front. What is the point of the camera? They could just look forward. They don't need to look up at the freaking screen to see forward. Oh my gosh. It would have made more sense if they put the camera on the back of the vehicle, so you could see in the back. An explore guitar for you, brand new. I'm very glad he got his guitar, because at least he's got that going for him. And also, those are the smallest amps I've ever seen in my life. Baby amps. Bamps. I think if I pull up to a job interview in this car, it'll definitely get a lot more respect and that my future employer wouldn't think that it was unreliable. What does the car have to do with the job? What do you mean? What do you mean you'll pull up to a job interview and they'll show you more respect? Who's... Well, are, are employers really looking at vehicles? Because that's crazy. Now he's definitely going to get more respect. and. uh It'll land him a job because of his pretty car. Before it was a huge joke, and now it's like the awesomest car in the world. Okay, Sarah, you don't need to be mean to your brother, all right? What do you mean his car was a joke? Do you have a car, Sarah? Do you drive something? What do you drive? And also, since you're siblings, if you drive something nicer, why'd your parents get him a little beat up, beat up van? What'd they get you? What'd they get you, Sarah? Yeah, that's what I thought. Mind your business. Poor Wyatt. Alright, well that was episode one of Pimp My Ride. I expected the car to be a little bit kookier, because again, I know that they put hot t a hot tub in one of them one time. I expected more. Three screens, a little excessive. Camera on the front of the vehicle for the back seat. Doesn't make sense to me. Kind of kind of makes me a little mad. I could rant about that for ages on why how on why that's so useless and how they could have done it right. I don't like that. And also, everybody was mean to poor Wyatt about his crappy car. All right, you've never driven a crappy car before? I have never heard anybody refer to a vehicle as a joke. Does it run? It does. Then it's not a joke. It's a vehicle. Poor Wyatt. His self-esteem was so low. <laughs> but don't worry, guys. He is doing much better now. He's got his flame car, and he is on top of the world. Ecstatic. Just living his best life. Playing the guitar in his flame car. Alright guys, thank you for joining me on today's reaction of Pimp My Ride. Like or dislike the video, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you next time. Bye guys!